This video shows the use of IP catalog for the design of logical cells using Xilinx Vivado tool. For this video tutorial, I have considered the design and verification of a 4 bit adder using IP catalog. First, create a project. Click on next. The project name is given as project 3. You can change this and the project location is defined here. You can also change this. Click on next. It opens different project types. Right now, I am using the RTL project. Click on next. From this, select the family of FPGA. Click on Arctic 7. Select the package. For this tutorial, I am using the CPG 236, speed minus 1. Based on the number of lookup tables flip flops, you can choose one of the package. I am selecting this second package. Click on next. Then this gives the project summary. Click finish. It opens the project manager where we have a project sum summary here and project manager as well as the sources. This is what we are going to use IP catalog. Before that, you need to add the design sources. Click on add sources. Select the option add or create design sources. Click on next. Click on create file. Provide the file name with new adder. Click OK. Click on finish. The file name is the module name. Provide the inputs. You can provide the inputs here or you can provide it later. Right now, I am providing A comma B as the input which is a 4 bit. So, MSB will be 3, 2, 0. Providing the clock calling it as CK which is a 1 bit then sum is it is a 4 bit adder so sum will be of 4 bit which is a output make it as MSB as 3 C out which is a carry I'll name them as sum and carry. The direction is output. Click OK. This shows the new adder module with inputs and outputs defined. Here I am not going to write any code or body of this module, I am going to use the IP catalog. Click on IP catalog. Here, already the pre designed or design already exists, they are called as the IP course. Right now, I am going to use adder. So click on this, it you opens the customized IP. So that means the block is readily available. This is the IP symbol with number of inputs as well as the output. Here you have different types from that select the fabric. A is the unsigned adder, B also that means A and B are both unsigned and input width is of 4 bit which is A and B both are of 4 bit. The add mode is add, subtract or add, subtract. Right now I am selecting the option as 
add. The output width is 4. Provide the control signal. Here you require only the clock output. If you want, you can see this. That means A is 4 bit, B is 4 bit, clock signal will be there, and I have the output signal and sum, which is of 4 bit. If you want, you can change this component name. You can change the name. Click OK. Again, OK. Then it generates the output product that is called as the synthesized product. Click Generate. Then click on OK. Here you can click on IP sources. You have the design here. Then click on instantiation template. Then click on adder dot veo. Here, this is the component which was instantiated from the IP catalog. Just copy this entire design. into the new adder block that means this is the component which we have got instantiated from the IP catalog now if you observe that the names are not matching that is input is AB but here it is given as A and you can see the nodes as blue so just change the name to A then B and this to CK which is nothing but a clock bit this is B here it is C out here it is sum now the design is completed which is a 4 bit full adder Save the design, you can see that and if you want you can change this name, instance name, underscore 4 bit, let me call this as 4 bit, change the design. If you want to see the elaborated design on this, click on schematic to see the elaborated view of the design. This is the full adder setup. Click on this to see the inner view or you can come to the previous view. Then again you can see the inner view. So like this you can go deep into the inner view of the design. You can just come out of it. So this is the full adder or 4 bit full adder. Once the design is completed let me verify this design by creating a test bin setup. For this, click on sources or from here you can click on add sources, add or create simulation sources. Next, create a file, call it as stimulus or stimuli, whatever. Click OK, finish. Yes. So from this design, you have to create the test bench. 
the test bench is here double click on it write the test bench a and b are the inputs which is a 4 bit so write register msb as 3 lsb as 0 and provide a and b clock is the input so provide the it as register wire c out wire msb of 3 which is nothing but sum from here that is nothing but the module name you just get the instance of the name or module name into the stimulus dut device under test or you can use unit under test provide the name as per the schematic with input a comma b ck clock as the third input sum comma c out always begin provide the end here i want to have the clock after a delay of 10 nanoseconds ck is equal to 0 then again after a delay of 10 ck is equal to 1 so this will repeat because it is in the always block. Create a initial block for the inputs. A is equal to input A is equal to 3 B is equal to 6 now the addition will be summation will be 3 plus 6 will be 9 so like that after a delay of 10 nanosecond again you can provide the changed inputs different values I can provide 2 or 4 with 6 for different values you can create the test setup with 5 so you can go on increasing the tests so these are the test values which I am using for verification of this 4 bit full adder save the design Click on Run Simulation. Click on Run Behavioral Simulation. C 
see the waveforms or results. You can observe that you have the values which is nothing but the summer or summation of two values which is A and B. The value, you can change the values. Binary also. 9 plus 4, you can get the value here. So in the mean, in between also we have different values, based on the time it will appear and you can see the synthesis. Click OK. We choose running synthesis design. This IP catalog is generally used without providing or writing the body. We get it from the IP catalog directly. Click on open synthesize design. This is the synthesized view of a 4-bit full adder. Click on this. It shows the synthesized view of the full adder. Here we did not write any body but this code or body has been instantiated from the IP catalog, IP core catalog. In this way you can create your design and verify it schematically also.